Doug Kide here with Zach Cox at Ford Field in Detroit. Just witnessed the Patriots lose to the Lions 26 to 10. Patriots are one and two on the season. They have not started a season one and two since 2012. So I think a lot of players in the locker room didn't really know how to deal with this. And I don't really know what to make of this Patriots team either at this point. Yeah, when we were standing on the field last week after that loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars, I think both of our sentiments was, yeah, maybe maybe the way that they lost was a little surprising, but the fact that they lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars, not all that surprising in, in the grand scheme of things. This loss was very surprising. I thought I had full confidence that the Patriots were going to win this game, and they got manhandled just on both sides of the ball throughout the game. I mean, they they their their mini comeback that they seem to have in all these big losses lasted about two and a half minutes, <laughs> yeah. and then they went right back to getting killed on both sides of the ball. It was it was a very surprising. Uh, surprising performance from from this team that usually bounce back, bounces back very well after losses. And we could wind up looking stupid, you know, four or five weeks down the season. Like last year after the Patriots' second loss, I'm sure that a lot of people were thinking the same things. But some of these issues that we're seeing, especially on defense, seem less fixable this season. And one of those things is definitely just the speed of the defense, the lack of agility, the lack of matching the agility of the opposing team, because Carrion Johnson basically could do anything yeah. to the Patriots' defense. Golden Tate could basically do anything to the Patriots defense because they just can't match that speed. They just can't match that agility. If anyone puts a spin move or jukes on these teams, they don't really know what to do. Yeah, carry on Johnson, first Lions running back to run for 100 yards since Thanksgiving 2013, mm -hmm. which is pretty remarkable considering all the uh, the struggles they've had at running back over the, over the last couple of years. But yeah, there were the, the Patriots' defense just looked lost for for a lot of this game. The the holes that that carry on Johnson and Legarrette Blunt were running through were gigantic mm -hmm. it, you could you could see them from the press box way up in the right. uh, the top of Ford Field here and like you said I don't know how they fix this mm -hmm. it's it's not a problem where where you you're watching the game and say oh man they really need to correct this one thing mm -hmm. I guess they really need to correct not giving up gigantic holes to running backs but that's not an easy thing to do no and I think that it will help a little bit to get Trey Flowers back he was out with a concussion it'll help to get Patrick Chung back because he adds a little bit of speed maybe it'll help to get Eric Rowe back but I don't know I don't know if this is going to be a quick fix once all those guys come back and there's issues on offense too wide receivers are not getting open for Tom Brady uh, all the wide receivers on this team were basically ineffective in this game and Sonny Michelle I know it's only his second career game but he was definitely having some issues in this game Finding holes, hitting holes, having the speed to turn a corner. Not a whole lot to like from the Patriots rushing attack. Yeah, I think Tom Brady said it all after the game. He was asked in his post-game press conference whether he wants to see more of James White in this offense. James White did have the Patriots' only touchdown tonight. And he said, yeah. He said the guys that have the ability to make plays need to be the guys that are, are getting the opportunities, which is I, I viewed it as kind of a shot at, at Sony Michelle, who obviously is very young. You can't write him off now after after two uh, NFL games we were all saying before that he's going to take some, a little bit of time to kind of develop but yeah he has looked really poor through these first and, two games and I just yeah. you, they're going to give him the time to develop but you need to lessen his workload a yeah. little bit he can't be your your feature back when when he's averaging what like 1.9 yards per carry it's that's a problem for the Patriots offense yeah that's the point I was gonna make is that if you're gonna ease him into the offense you have to ease him in yeah. the offense but there is an issue there because Rex Burke had got hurt again today again uh, yes. Jeremy Hill tore his ACL in week one so Unless they sign a running back off the street, there's not a lot of options there. Yeah. But that will do it for us here at Ford Field. We'll see if the Patriots can turn this around in week four. That's against Miami Dolphins. They the, go on a The undefeated game. Miami yeah, Dolphins. Yeah, true. So now that game's not looking so easy mm -hmm. as well. But the Patriots do have three straight games at home, so maybe they can turn things around here. But for now, they are one and two heading into week four against their first uh, divisional opponent.